This is Sirnumudem, situated in the hinterlands of Central Province. It is a man-made lake that was built in the early 60s, a home of the Koyari people. They gave up their hunting grounds, villages, sacred sites to them a water source. The Sirnumudem was designed to hold a 340 millimeters of water. It has become a lake and today served as a main water source for the ever increasing population of Port Moresby city and business houses. Today, development in this part of the province is stagnant due to obvious reasons. Aquaculture was introduced in the 1950s as a means to alleviate high malnutrition levels in inland areas. Despite this introduction, development has so far been stagnant and mostly concentrated at the artisanal and subsistence level as well as other management issues. But slowly the tide is changing. An initiative, endurance and persistence of a local villager from Sirinumu is now changing lives of his people in the dam area. Staff from National Fisheries Authority and stakeholders all raised issues that have been hindering the progress of development. We spent him close to 10 years for this project. Now, we are not looking for project to move. You know, because we don't work. We used to go come to here, plenty of time. You know, because John and us work. You know, because boss play me on the face. I'm not a slack to find him. I'm just stop consistent. We plan making more of something. But project in Nongo area, the way we plan like him long end. So I'm making me plan thing. Why not this like something will come up? Plan the time we plan put him money in and we plan to give him nothing, we plan thing or send. All man that can, or give him money, we plan all that go and work him work through through. We plan to give him money, good plan bell. That's all. Also, give him money, we plan give him. Now all is a work him house, plan all. All go work him now, but something now walk through through no sa come up. All projects before, you give him money long man. Tomorrow you come back in, you know got one plan project he come up. So it's better that me plan yet to come, learn him you long how to run him, business play you. Yesterday, an aquaculture cage project was launched by the team from National Fisheries Authority, witnessed by supporting stakeholders. This was a stepping stone for the people. Okay, you know we do. We must give thanks to the. Lord above for his kindness, for his love, and for his faithfulness in us human beings. Amen. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and also the Governor of Central Province, Kilahauda, I cut this ribbon to launch this project. Speaking during the launch of the project, Inland Aquaculture Manager from the National Fisheries Authority, Jacob Wani, praised the people for this initiative. I think now you play more uh, ready, qualified, law making this project. Maybe like putting all farmers or line in the past. Now, me and Mas will talk out today or some. You play sitting in the first line, we play trial in this project. Success, you play and now by making more narrow and go through this program. Representing the Managing Director from the National Fisheries Authority, Wellete Wararu says this development will change lives and empower communities. Money people work in a money people government. But one one man, some inside the one one half organization, must get five and a bell for helping people align sit down here. And one does something where NFA, we look in us and we must have a man or a staff where also thinking you come back and helping the little man marry the place. Now this plan one black example of one black all this program. Now, if you look at the NFA board, all committed to the buy more seed, and one plus struggle with all six summers I got, where this board and look savage, or support him work, or inland fish farming. You don't know if you look at us all, but throughout the country. A delighted farmer, Jonah Bobogi, who is also the chairman of the Sirinumu Fish Farmers Association, and the man behind this project, says despite the obvious and issues hindering development in this area, he had to initiate a project that is sustainable and can change the lives of his people. 
Today he is a happy man. I'm really happy because you know that that time when I started it was only me. And now it's it's probably about 89 now. Not probably but we have about 89. And NFA had already moved into train these guys here to go into this thing and uh, I see it's a big potential of doing this. And I have seen a lot of income coming through fish activities. And uh, like I said, uh, I'll become a fish farmer. I will not be doing any other thing. That is the only project. The only thing that will sustain my living. The Isirunumu farming project, Talapia Hatchery, is an advanced hatchery system that will produce all male talapia that will be grown in cages by farmers at the reservoir. Today, it will become uh, my water. Uh, I'll stop the uh, most of here. Like what happens is uh, the more current day in the fish pond. You have one plant by one group pass, then another plant and another plant. So you get different sizes. So then you can pass the men and the fish in the kind of system. So it's like a system. Then mama can come. The eggs are fertilized, you now see the camera you put them inside the here. And then you give you control the temperature in here so that there's uniform temperature now. Or maybe you're producing them by equal size. Okay, time more eggs out at the same time. That's the time where you can feed them all uh, a different male hormones by you give them so that by you change in sex. But the lab here, man can grow area and grow things that are married. Pond culture of carp, tilapia, and rainbow trout has developed significantly in the last few years, with over 10,000 farmers throughout inland areas, with a combined production estimated to be valued at 10 million kina. Currently, 89 cage farmers in the reservoir have decided to come together to form an association. This will assist them to sell their fish produce and meet the market demands on a regular basis.